What time is it, my creatives? It's photo hacking time. What's up, photo hack lovers? It's Charlotte from photohacklovers.com, and today I'm bringing you a really cool web tip. Uh, so some of you watch my videos on Shopify, so I have some really cool information and just want to let you know that the best websites utilize a heat map and I'm going to show you how to make a heat map on your website absolutely free. Now if you don't know what a heat map is and what it's good for, it's basically having um, recordings of people actually on your website. So it's not spyware or anything like that. It's actual video of people using your site. And why is this good? Well, this is good because you get insight on how people use your site and what kind of problems they're having and whatnot. Now, I've tried to make my site stupid simple, but from watching the heat maps, because I use, I, and I'm gonna tell you how I use this, I'm gonna show you everything. But first I wanna tell you why I did this. Now, I wasn't getting the sales results as I was getting on other my other sites, but you know I sell on Etsy, I sell on Creative Market, you know, yada yada. And I drive more traffic to my site than I do the others. So I was confused as to why I wasn't getting as many sales. So when I watched the heat map, I noticed that a lot of the users were having, you know, trouble on my site with certain things. And I, w I went to, you know, design school and they said, design your site like you're designing it for your grandma. And boy, they weren't kidding. Now, you have to interpret that not everyone on your site thinks like you do. Um, some, some things, I mean, you wouldn't believe the questions that I get asked. And they're not stupid questions. It's just that some people, um, you know, aren't as technically savvy, haven't caught up with it. But that's no big deal. You want to sell to anybody that wants to be a customer of yours. You want to cater to their needs. So you want to adjust your site to that. Now, moving into 2018, it's not about who has the prettiest and coolest site. No. in 2000, Moving forward in 2018, it is the site that is the most simple because people's attention spans are becoming very, very short. They want to get in. They want to get out. So, with that, without further ado, I'm, I'm going to show you some of the recordings. They're kind of embarrassing, but I did want to show you that this is totally free. I'm going to give you a link to the site so you can get this as free as well. I'm just showing you inside my account. Now, these are the recordings. Now, the, the good thing about it is you can, see, you can see the browser that they use. You can see the time, the pages that they clicked on, and, and whatnot. Uh... So some of these, you, this is from Facebook. This is coming from Facebook. So you can see where they came from, if they came from a social media site, whatnot. So this is all of this here. Now, it doesn't record, I, it doesn't record like them, com, like the complete, you know, time that they're on the page. It only records a few minutes. So I'm just going to play the latest one. And we're going to watch it. And so what I learned from this is that um, the users cannot see the, the buy buttons unless they're logged into my account, which is a problem. So I have went ahead and decided to, I used to have the Shopify with just the buttons, but because I have so much spam and everything like that, I had to take out the buttons so people can't get the free stuff on my site. So that, that was pretty much it. So that's basically the recording. It does other things too as well. So I'll go back to this part and you can see heat maps. And this is a heat map of, of the site where people click. And you can, create, you can create new heat maps. So this is like a cold click if it's like blue and then it would be hot. So I only created one. The recordings told me pretty much all I needed to know that I, I needed um, a more faster site. I noticed that most people use the desktop. I mean, it has a lot of insightful information that I would have never known. So, I mean, it, it's very useful.
So I I got a red on my Facebook chat. So I think it's very important to put a Facebook chat on your website that lets people know that you're going to communicate with them. I think the number one thing is trust with websites. So um and here's uh, the tablet view. You know, you don't have very many tablet. You have, I have a pretty good amount of mobile. So, I mean, this is, this is very important information. You can create funnels, you can create forms, you can create polls and surveys. Um, so it's pretty cool. So I honestly think this is a really, really neat, neat thing that you can do. And I'm gonna provide a link below on how to use that. But I also wanted to show you um, that because of this information, even though my site is stupid sim simple, some of the pictures take a while to load. And so I'm going 100% Shopify because um, like I'm gonna get the Shopify basic instead of the Shopify Lite with the buttons because I feel like I'm ready to move over now. And I did pay two years in advance for this host, but it just, for my store and for the needs of my customers, I just feel that I need to have the fastest thing as possible because if you don't have a really super fast site, um, that could be like death to your customers because they don't want to sit there and wait for pictures and stuff to load. So this is what I have so far. I'm not completely finished. Um, I do need to add the background to the footer, but I almost have everything completely converted over. And so I have this really cool chat with this button and the cool thing about Shopify is it has apps that you can just load into it and I'm using like one of the default free themes and I kind of like hacked it to make it look like my site it's which is very simple to do and for the stuff that I didn't know how to do I went on Fiverr and I uh, paid someone $35 to fix the rest of it which that's why I said um, he's gonna change the the background uh, footer See, I'm, I'm more familiar with WordPress, so I'm not really familiar with uh, Shopify's coding. Um, they have like a different type of setup. So, I mean, I could have sat there and watched tutorials and learned it, but you know, I just didn't, I just didn't have the time. Plus, I'm, I'm taking a flight on uh, Monday and I'm gonna be uh, going back to Florida. So, some of you guys know that if you watch my video tutorials. But, as you can see, let, let me show you how fast this is. So I would click on the link and it goes really, really pretty fast and it's, it's kind of seamless. This is what I have so far. And I have all these things in my carts because I've been testing it out. But if you go to shop design resources, you can see it's really fast. It's lightning fast. Look at that. I don't have the delay on the, on the picture load so that's pretty pretty cool you just click on it you can see the pictures it's just right to business you know what I mean that that's what people want they want to just get right down to business they don't want they don't want to have to like wait for things to load now if you look at my older site we'll go back to design resources sometimes it takes a while to load the pictures it's a little bit slower but like I said, I have 100 megs of internet, so it, it may be loading faster for me, but just imagine somebody who doesn't have really good bandwidth. And some of those recordings, um, it didn't load the pictures very fast, so that's why it's really good to have like a heat map or recording insight so you can see what's going wrong in your website and you can, you know, make the changes, make the necessary changes like I am. And I've already and I've and I've already been paying for Shopify, so I mean, just switching over is no biggie to me. And I have other domains that I can use this uh, this host for, um, but they're not shops; they're just like regular blogs. You know what I mean? But that's what I wanted to show you guys today. So I'm gonna link uh, uh, leave a link below for Hotjar, and I'm also going to uh, leave a link for a discount code for Shopify if you're interested in getting your store. If you have any questions at all, um, you know, just, you know, leave a, a message and I usually reply. I, I reply to all of uh, my creatives. So you guys, thanks so much for watching and, and you guys have a wonderful night.